When a narcissist sees a powerful empath, this is how they react. A person who is naturally kind and easygoing is considered to be a good supply for narcissists because it ensures that they won't damage them by observing their tendency of boasting and controlling behaviors. It is someone who puts the needs of others ahead of their own, who is unendingly generous and forgiving, and who puts others before themselves. It is one who is self-aware, but doesn't exaggerate their accomplishments or qualities. Someone who doesn't want or require attention or acclaim. Someone who empathizes with the narcissist's feelings of emptiness and insecurity and attempts to solve them by taking care of the narcissist, building them up, and explaining away their shortcomings. Someone who puts a blind eye to the problems and is willing to put up with criticism, disappointment, and even abuse. And sadly, empaths tend to exhibit all of these personalities. On the other hand, narcissists only care about themselves and nothing else. For them, the empath's role in their lives will continue to be important as long as they serve a purpose and meet their need for validation. Narcissists will try to get what they want from the empath, whether they think the empath is powerful or timid. At the end of the day, it's not about the empath or anyone else. It's about the narcissists taking over everything and getting what they want. Narcissists are known to use any tricks necessary to take advantage or to get rid of anyone they see as a threat. In this video, we'll look at some of these methods. Super empaths are not easily swayed by other people's ideas. The way these people think and act shows they have reached a certain level of maturity. But before we talk further into this, I just want to say thank you to everyone who has watched this video to this point. If you could share this video with any of your friends, family members, or loved ones, it would really help this channel grow, and I'd really appreciate that. And if this is your first time here, we ask that you subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss out on any future updates. Thank you. Okay, so today's topic is how narcissists act when they meet a powerful empath on their way. How they deal with people who aren't easy to convince or who are sure of themselves and know exactly what they want. First of all, narcissists are often called arrogant because they can't accept other people for who they really are. So when they meet people who aren't easily swayed, have a lot of confidence, a high sense of self-worth, and are usually very grounded like a super empath, this makes the narcissist feel threatened. However, no matter how strong their opponent is, this doesn't stop them from going after the person in question. No one is an exception when it comes to narcissists, whether you're an immature empath or a super empath. The narcissist will do anything to get what he or she wants, which is to break people who threaten their power and control. All that matters is either they control you or break you. Narcissists think that the only way to feel better about themselves is to make the people around them feel bad about themselves. Even if some of us are smart and strong when it comes to narcissists' tricks, and we might not fall for the love bombs they throw at us, but still, they try their best to influence our lives and wait for us to let our guard down. Love bombing might seem like narcissists' favorite way to get other people to do what they want, but they have other ways to get what they want. For example, when they realize that flattery and charm aren't enough, they'll act like victims to get you to feel sorry for them and empathize with them. We have to accept that narcissists don't care what other people think of them. They just need a place to start. This means that they count anything they can get as attention, whether it's love, affection, or pity. Because your emotional interest in the narcissist shows that they're important to you and have an effect on your life, they'll keep working with that angle and add some flattery and charm to help seal the deal if they can make you feel sorry for them. If love bombing doesn't work, they will often make a last-ditch effort to get your sympathy and make you feel sorry for them. This is done to gain control and force you to do what they want. They would lie about being sick, so they wouldn't have to do their part of the jobs. In some cases, they'll even hurt themselves on purpose to get your attention. These people will complain and beg you for help, saying they have nowhere else to go. They will keep saying it. So you should remember this. When they're up against someone strong, narcissists tend to act weak. They get into your life, 
by making themselves look weak and humble in order to gain your trust. They want to hurt you slowly, so they make sure to get into every part of your life until you let down your guard. At the end of the day, you may have helped them get out of a ditch, but they may turn around, throw you back into the ditch, and keep going without showing any remorse for what they've done. So be careful always. Narcissists will say they love you or act as a victim to get you to fall for their scam. When they're able to take down a strong-minded person, which in this case is you, it gives them a big boost to their self-esteem and makes them think they're stronger and better. They do it joyfully and then throw you out when they've gotten all they could out of you. If they can't change you directly and bring you to your knees, they only have one option left. They'll act like they look up to you and want to learn from you wherever you go. There is not much of choice for them. That's because you have a strong mind and they didn't get to know you well enough to find any weaknesses or secrets you might have. Well, their other choice is to pay attention to people who are close to you. The narcissist will use anyone who believes their lies to get into your life or just find out more about you. Narcissists are experts at lying. They would want a close relationship with a close friend or family member. They will do whatever they can to make you feel bad and to turn your friends and family against you. They only have one goal, and that is to make people dislike you. Because they see you as a threat, narcissists need attention from other people. The narcissist will never be happy before they can get what they want from you. They will always look for new ways to influence your life, and they want everyone around you to help them do it. For example, they will do whatever it takes to get you fired from your job. Even if you do a good job, if everyone is against you, you won't be able to keep your job there. People like them are the ones who will say you did things you didn't do. When the narcissist sees that you are more popular and respected than they are, they will obsess over ways to bring you down. They will do this because they're afraid that they may lose their influence over others. And it's because narcissists spend their whole lives trying to get everything they don't have. Dominance is the only thing that matters to them, so they will steal, lie, cheat, and manipulate their way into your life to get it. They just can't stand it when other people do better than they do. In their minds, they hate it when people see through the fake personas they've made for themselves. They don't like it when we don't believe their lies and fall into their webs. These people don't like how moral we are and how independent we are. Because of this, they try to take these things away from us and hurt us in the process. Conclusion The narcissist is always ready to take on the task of beating you, no matter how easy or hard you're for them to beat. If they can't get you to like them by love bombing or playing the victim, they'll try to trick you and ask someone you know and trust to help. This means you have to know their tricks and plans and accept that this will always be the case, no matter how far you get. No matter how high up the social ladder you climb, a narcissist will always try to pull you back down. Because of this, I will keep telling you to be careful and pay close attention. I genuinely hope that this information was helpful. Please let us know what you think and what you've experienced in the comments section below. Please subscribe to this channel if this is your first time here. Many thanks.